Hello everyone, Sheepdog here. Today we will be going over basic ACE medical training. Keep in mind that the 609th has implemented a simplified version of the ACE medical system. There may be additional steps or procedures depending on your server or unit settings. With that in mind, let's begin. As you are probably already aware, the battlefield is a dangerous place for a soldier. It is common to be shot, blown up, ran over, and crashed in vehicles. So at some point you will need to heal yourself or others in order to stay in the fight. There are several essential items that you must carry in terms of medical equipment. Some of these items include bandages, tourniquets, splints, and morphine. Bandages are used to stop bleeding and are all equally effective regardless of which specific type you are using. Tourniquets are used to control bleeding for serious injuries. These are applied to your arms and legs and can be taken off and reused when the injury has been dealt with. Splints fix bone fractures, allowing you to move faster on a broken leg or shoot straight with a broken arm. And morphine controls pain, increases your heart rate, and must be administered in controlled amounts to avoid overdosing. These items can be used by anyone and should be carried at all times. There are four additional items that can only be used by medics. The first is epinephrine and is used to revive an unconscious person after they're no longer in critical condition. This item should only be used if the person is not bleeding and has a normal heart rate and blood pressure. The second item is the blood bag and is used to restore blood pressure and blood. These come in three different amounts, 250, 500, and 1000 milliliters. These should be used after the bleeding is stopped or at least under control with tourniquets. I would recommend using the 250s and 500s for minor and moderate amounts of blood loss and to save the 1000 milliliters for critical and fatal blood loss. The third item is adenosine and is used to counteract morphine and epinephrine overdose. This item also lowers blood pressure and heart rate and is normally only used if somebody has overdosed. Finally, the fourth item is the personal aid kit, which is used to fully heal someone when they are near a mobile respawn point or inside a medical tent. Now that we've covered the necessary items, let's go over some basics. You can open the ACE medical menu at any time by pressing the H key. By default, it will show you your personal health status. If you are looking at someone within arm's reach, it will show you their health status instead. Always confirm who you are looking at by checking the name shown up in the top left of the medical menu. In the center of the medical menu, we have a body status indicator. We have six sections of the body, the head, torso, left arm, right arm, left leg, and right leg. Under normal circumstances, an uninjured person will show up as white. When you are injured, the colors of the affected region will change. The color scale goes from white for uninjured to blue for minor injuries, yellow for moderate injuries, and red for major injuries. On the right side, we have the overview tab, which shows more detail about the nature of the injury. It will show how much blood has been lost, ranging from some blood listed in yellow to a lot of blood listed in orange to a fatal amount listed in red. It will also show if a limb is broken, what kind of injuries they have, how many they have, and how much pain they are experiencing. On the left side, we have the examine and treatment tab with several different subcategories. The triage card, examine patient, bandage slash fracture, medications, advanced treatments, the carry button, and the toggle between self and others. In the bottom left, we have the activity log, which shows all treatments the wounded has received. In the bottom right, we also have the quick view, which shows important information such as the heart rate and blood pressure, assuming someone has already checked on those. As a brief rule of thumb, here's the order in which you should treat the patient. First, control the bleeding by applying tourniquets as needed. Second, bandage injuries to stop the bleeding. Third, remove tourniquets if needed and then apply blood. Fourth, apply splints and remove any remaining tourniquets. Fifth and finally, apply morphine to control the pain. Next, I'll demonstrate this process with our friend Angel. So starting off, we'll walk up to the injured soldier and press the H key to bring up the medical menu. We'll make sure we're treating the correct person by confirming the name in the top left. And next, we'll click on the affected area and then the bandage fracture button. We'll start off with applying a tourniquet to control the bleeding. Next, we'll apply bandages as needed to the affected area until the area changes to blue or white, showing that the bleeding has stopped. At this point, the wounded will still need blood, but they stand a much greater chance of surviving and may even be able to continue fighting if needed. 
If they are still conscious, then they should seek a medic immediately to receive blood and continue treatment. If they are unconscious, then make sure they have a pulse by clicking on an arm, selecting the Examine Patient tab on the left side of the menu, and then check pulse. If they have no pulse, then click on the torso and perform CPR. CPR may need to be repeated depending on how much blood they have lost. Now if you're a medic like I am here, you can push blood by selecting a limb that doesn't have a tourniquet and then applying the appropriate dosage of blood. Remember that it takes a few seconds for blood to be applied. The more you give, the longer it will take to apply. Now while that's happening, go ahead and apply a splint to the fractured limb, noting the change in the limb's icon on the status page. Finally, remove the tourniquet and then apply morphine to control the pain. At this point, the wounded has received all the care we can provide and should be combat effective again. Now for more serious injuries, you should cooperate with another person to treat the wounded quickly. In this section, Geo has kindly cooked off a grenade to demonstrate a serious injury. Rogue Wolf and I work together to cover different areas as quickly as possible to stop the bleeding and get Geo back on his feet. Notice that Rogue and I both announce what we are treating to coordinate treatments quickly. I'll go ahead and tourniquet the right arm. Bandaging torso. Torso again. Right leg. Torso is good, bandaging head. Tourniquet on the right leg, left leg. Bandaging head. And finally the right arm, left arm. Head's good. All Starting right. left arm. Starting with the left leg. Right leg. Left arm. Right arm. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and remove the tourniquets now so we can give him blood. Starting left, left arm tourniquet. And we'll give him a thousand since he lost a lot of blood. Left leg tourniquet. Right leg tourniquet. All right, we'll go ahead and check the pulse to make sure we can give him epinephrine. He's got a good heart rate. BP's good. We'll go ahead and give him epi. And then morphine. And as you can see, he's up already. Hello. And just like that, we brought him back from the dead. Again, I just want to emphasize that you should always make sure to announce what you are doing to avoid wasting valuable time and blood. Two or three people working effectively together can bring even the worst cases back from the brink of death. In this last section, I just want to show you that you can also treat wounded from within vehicles, regardless of where they are sitting. All you need to do is press the Windows key, select Passengers, and find the person you wish to treat. Select the medical menu, and from there follow the same process outlined earlier to treat the wounded. I know we covered a lot in this video, but I hope you have a better understanding of the ACE medical system now. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below or reach out to us on the 6th and 9th Discord server. Thank you for watching, take care, and have a good one guys.